Hello and welcome. We have another interview here with, uh, who is this, Rendleman from Bing Chiller Civil Standards, or BCSC for short. It's and me, baby. Yes, it is. And I assume, from what I've heard, this is going to be a really interesting interview. Uh, Look, so, depending on the questions oh, yeah. you lob up, this could become a bit of a banger. <laughs> good to hear, good to hear. All right, so... Right off the bat, I want to want to ask you: What are your expectations for this split in terms of how your team's going to do? Um, that's a great question. It's kind of a uh, slippery slope for me, right? We did just come off of winning um, mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. you know a former teammate, Technics, and I. Uh, obviously, the rosters are a bit switched up now. It's just me and him running it back with three different players. So, like on one hand, I want to be brave and I want to say, yeah, one hundred percent, my expectation is to win, but I. You, you just don't know, you know, when you completely change stuff up like that. So I'd say for me personally, my expectation is guaranteed playoffs should make a run to finals is, is what I expect, a, a finals run for sure. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense to me. So we're doing this interview after the my initial power rankings came out. If you were able to see them... Uh, before this, you saw that I placed you guys as currently the number two team. Now, this is all projection, because as you said, we don't know. But do you think that that feels about right? I would totally say, just off the eye test alone, the rating that you had of us, Dorado, Gaming Iota, and, and ID Honeyfruit, kind of like all proverbially like tied. But, you know, if you did number it, it was Dorado, us, and then Honeyfruit. I think that that's really accurate to me as well. Uh I'm interested to see how the roster changes for Iota fare them in the same way that roster changes fare me and Technics uh, and Honeyfruit too. I mean, it's all like good players in all the different positions. It's just changed up, right? So uh, it really is a toss up, I guess, obviously with a bit of bias, I'd say we should be number one, but <laughs> I, I think, you know, the general community consensus saying it's kind of us two chasing top two. It makes complete sense to me for sure. Yeah. And, it's all projection. I think that you guys have a great roster. Obviously, I wouldn't have ranked you that high otherwise. Now, yeah, of course. you've already kind of touched on this, but I want to ask, did any other teams catch your eye when those rosters came out? Oh, man. I mean, I think um, any roster that my former Fairy teammates are on has to be at least part of a conversation. I know XG Saturn was like getting a little bit of hate in like the general chat today. Um, people were kind of saying that they were placed a bit higher on content than they should be. I don't know. I, I, I know a lot of those guys, so I, I believe in them. But yeah, maybe that's a roster that kind of stuck out. Um, Subatomic, Gaming, Axiom, like a team seems like they could be good. And Horizon Gaming, like really upgraded from last split, bringing in like Worm Jones and stuff like that. So those were some of the rosters that caught my eye for sure. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And the only unfortunate part for XG Saturn and Subatomic Gaming is they're both in Group B with you. Yeah, Group B is a nightmare, man. This is <laughs> Sems needs to be investigated for allowing this to happen for sure. Now, I was gonna save this for later, but since we're on the topic, what do you think of this group you're in? Um, I think if you just look at overall roster strength across the entire um, split, you know, all the different. Teams and contenders, I, I'm just going to have the same opinion everybody else does. Like, these these groups are so unbalanced. Like, the fact that between, <laughs> like, us, Dorado, Honeyfruit, um, Subatomic, Horizon, and XG Saturn, I believe all of us are together. Uh, Horizon's actually in C. It's Sensei they are Squad, in C. Cosmos Sensei Wings. Squad, that's who it is. Yeah, like, Subatomic Cosmos has some decent XG players. Saturn. Like, you know, the general consensus for, like, Sensei Squad is they made playoffs and they won their first round. Like, they should be in playoffs again, you know, theoretically, and assuming that the playing field didn't upgrade too hard. Like, the fact that those six teams are in this group and the other two teams we haven't even talked about are, you know, rated pretty decently too. Like, and only four of us are coming out is insane. It's so crazy to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yeah. You're not wrong there. That, that group... I think I, yeah. I, I uh, from my ratings, which of course could very well be wrong, but according to my ratings, I had like the average rank to be seventh out of that group. No, no other group was even like fourteenth. So yeah. it, it was just so stacked. It, it feels like going into the season, 
in uh, at least into the season, it feels that way. Yeah, like it's it's like our, I'm already mentally preparing of like, dude, I'm gonna be playing like playoffs level competition just out the gate. This is gonna be crazy. Like, <laughs> hey, that could be a good thing. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I mean, like, I, if we can like top group B, I don't really see a reason we can't lose. Like, like that that we would lose. Excuse me, like at all. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of teams, they're in those maybe groups of life, and they're the one, like, big top team there. And then they mm-hmm. just go into playoffs without really having the experience against good teams, and then they end up yeah. falling flat. Yeah, I don't think that'll be you. see something like that <laughs> happening. Yeah, no, I don't think that'll be us for sure. It'll be trial <laughs> by fire to make playoffs in the first place, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, so I want to hear... In order, who do you think the top four teams in the league is, are going to be? Ooh, top four teams in the league. I mean, instantly, you've got us. I, I feel like it's not fun to answer myself, so I'm going to say civil standards excluded because we'll yeah, be I'm down. one. I'm down for uh, that. So us excluded, I'm going to say it's Dorado and Honey Fruit. Those are givens. Um, I think I'm going to say Horizon Vanguard will be in the top four. And probably Sean Fan Club, not Optimal. I think Optimal is overrated, to be honest. Like, hey, could be. Rutledge is all right. I don't know. Like, Honestly, doesn't really seem like anything. We probably won't know until playoffs. <laughs> I completely agree. Yeah, like there's such a toss up between how good teams could be. You know, Subatomic Axiom could be like really good, and I just don't have like the pulse on that. Like Spider Bite Esports could surprise. I don't know, but. Yeah, I would say for me, just off rip, knowing a lot of these guys I played against last split, because I'm new to Emerald, like, don't get me wrong, but knowing these guys I played against last split, I'd say I wouldn't be surprised to see those names at the top for sure. Yeah, there's there's a lot of talent. I mean, we have 24 teams. How much yeah. talent is in this league is kind of just mind-boggling to me. So, yeah. And you always know there's going to be teams that are just going to come out and they're not going to have expectations and they're just going to blow everyone away. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we did that. That that was mm-hmm. literally us Actually on very last right? split. Nobody knew who the fuck we were. Oh, oh my bad. Nobody knew who we were. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, and and we came in. You know, me and Technics had uh, graduated from like Gold Plat coming up together. Um, he had actually knocked me out of playoffs in Bol Plat uh, before <laughs> we teamed up, which was really funny. Um, and, you know, Spoobert had been playing for a while, but hadn't, like, super pushed for, like, a big finals run or anything. Like, n- nobody expected us to do what we did. We only dropped one series, and it was a series I was on tour with my band. I wasn't even there. So so you're uh, the real carry. Yeah. Well, uh, I wouldn't say I'm the carry. <laughs> I think that that is just a little much. I would say I'm the glue, you know. They, <laughs> the glue. They realize, uh, yeah, they, they can't do it, what the team does without me there, for sure. Hey, glue's important. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're you're the prime example, but you know there's going to be... I don't even know how many there are going to be that are just going to come out and just going to make me look bad with every single prediction. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, I mean, there, there could just be some secret wonder on some of these rosters that I just am not familiar with that elevates, you know, specific players to a level people haven't seen before, like, you know, like we did with Fairy Last Split. You never know. Like, there's always going to be a Cinderella story to some degree there's always gonna be a sleeper yeah and with a with such a large group of teams you know there's gonna be multiple it should be a really interesting split and i yeah. i know we're, that a lot of people think that b is gonna be like so much stronger than a and c but on the flip side of that even if they're right it means that the group should be pretty even like a seems to be yeah. the lowest rank so they'll be competitive games even if we're right so it, it should be a really, really good split, no matter how you slice it. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I think this split's going to be a banger, for sure. Yeah, and that'll just make my my life easy, so... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it works for me, for sure. All right, so looking at your team, I'm curious, how often do you guys practice? Um, So we are entering two leagues together. Um, I don't know what the other one is. So right now... I've only practiced with the team for two scrims. Um, Mm -hmm. So I guess in theory, we'd be playing three nights a week, but only one scrim night. You know, the other two were playing and not trying a bunch of different stuff. I mean, I'm always going to ego and try stuff, but uh, (laughs) 
you know, it as a team, we're taking it a bit more serious two nights of the three. So three days a week, but only one's like real practice. And this roster's only done six games together. So. All right. So, I mean, for the record, this is Monday. So two days, you got your first match. Only, only six games played so far, huh? Yeah. I think we have a scrim tomorrow on Tuesday, like right before. And then we'll just be starting the season. I'm not worried about it. I mean, me and Technics are the best mid jungle in the league. Nobody's like even remotely on our level, so I'm not really concerned with anybody. Now I am curious, uh, your stance on your first opponent, Cosmos Wings, Cosmos Lantern. Um, because I see there's a yeah. lot of split, especially compared to how how I kind of saw them and some other people. So I'm I curious. I feel like they're really overhyped. I don't know, like. People were like, oh, I've seen Elsa from Frozen play well before. Okay. Like, cool. I don't know. I've never <laughs> heard of half the players on this team. So if we get upset Wednesday, I mean, whatever, I guess. But I, I just don't really see that happening. Like, nobody. I look at that roster and it's like, I mean, they're, they're all like high emerald or diamond or whatever. That's cool. But it doesn't really mean anything to me. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I mean, yeah. You're you're a little bit newer to Emerald. I know all a lot of the players on that team played in the past and took a took a sizable break, which can definitely like make a big difference in play. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I had them rated probably near the middle. Some people have them ranked super high, and then I've seen some content where they're they're projected to be like the worst team in uh, Eternal. <laughs> That's like. There's no way that's they they can't be that bad. That I didn't no think shot. so either. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think they're like middle of the pack for sure. Yeah, either way, should be a should be a good first week. It, it'll be honestly the first test for all of these teams. I'm really interested to see how how much I'm gonna have to change because yeah, honestly, because you come in with all these <laughs> preconceived notions, but oh yeah, half the league could just be completely flipped on its head especially with 24 teams like oh my god there was like a moment where i considered doing content and i was like dude i don't want to keep up with 24 teams i'm good i'm gonna just let everybody else do this <laughs> 24 is a lot i'll i'll, I'll yeah. uh, say that but on the other hand there's a lot to talk about so you're never yeah. bored <laughs> that's true that's that's honestly really fair all right so You've been around. You you said you played in like gold plat leagues. You're on XG Fairy last split. I I want to know what kind of an environment does your team have, and how does that compare to some of the other teams you've been on? That's a great question. Um, so I have really changed in my personal contribution to a team environment. Like when I started playing, I've been playing for three years now competitively. Uh, when I started, I was like the hothead toxic teammate that would like yell at people and, you know, ask for people to get kicked and stuff like that. <laughs> I had a, I have a huge ego and it was like very uncontrolled back then. Um, and now in this position, I feel like I've grown a lot and I bring a lot of contribution to a team environment of kind of like the pillar of like, all right, guys, let's not get too tilted. Let's relax. Like, you know, you're all yelling at each other. Shut the fuck. Shut up. Excuse me. My bad. Uh, <laughs> You're all yelling at each other, shut up, you know, we have more games to play, you know, we're two games and do a best of five, like, lock in, you know what I mean? And so yeah. far from the six games I've played with Civil Standards, uh, we've got some personalities for sure, but uh, I think what I really enjoy about our team is everybody wants to win and is really driven to win, and I have not experienced, at least so far, any crossing of people's egos over wanting to win. Like, at the end of the day, like, Kodas is playing top, you know, he roll swapped uh, to allow me to play because Tenex wanted to bring me in, and uh, I've been nothing but like you know really grateful for that because it gave I wasn't gonna play this split. Um, I was gonna take a break, and then I got this opportunity to play tech again, and figured I'd run it, and was just thankful for the the chance to play my main role. And you know, he set aside ego and and just moved top because he wanted to play on a team. So I, I love the team environment so far. Everybody's just chill and toxic in a good way you know <laughs> and also looking to win i mean that sounds like a great recipe to me yeah uh, i'm really interested you said that you were the hothead and now you're the glue that is quite a transition yeah i've had a lot of personal growth you know over the last like five years as a human being like i i think like video games and stuff aside as human beings like i feel like 
we go through a lot of change and a, a lot of um, reflection and there's kind of like a metamorphosis. I feel like that happens every five years. And, you know, when I was younger, I was just a big hothead in general in life and I've just kind of chilled out. And that's really reflected here in competitive too, for me, I think like in a team environment, obviously I, I talk my crap 24 seven, but in a team <laughs> environment, I'm a lot different. <laughs> you, you know where to place it, you know, when yeah. it's, when it's appropriate and when you, when you need to step up and, and be a teammate absolutely yeah i mean i i think that got a little bit more real than i would expect from a an answer to a question on amateur league of legends <laughs> but, yeah that's fair man <laughs> <laughs> but i really like to hear it i mean that those kinds of things like watching the players grow both in terms of mechanics but also those those things where they learn so much about being that teammate being part of a team uh yeah I, my history, I, I've been a teacher and a coach before in a high school, so like that kind okay. of stuff, that sticks with me. So I yeah, absolutely. I love to hear that. Um, now, I know your team in particular, there's quite a, there's a few of them, but your team in particular has a lot of like long-standing players. Uh, yeah. So with that in mind, I kind of want you to give a message to any of those players that are new to comp. Uh, what would you want to say? What would you, uh, you know what? Let me just say, let's pretend like they're not your <laughs> opponents in the next seven to yes, 12 absolutely. weeks, right? So if they weren't, what would you say to them to kind of help them become adjusted or what, what kind of advice would you give them? That's a great question, man. I think for new players getting into competitive, there has to be a level of, I think holding yourself and asserting yourself where you know you're correct, but then also respecting like veteran teammates, veteran staff that know what they're talking about. I think that you should have an ego about your level of play in a sense of if you know you're good, you should say that you're good. And if you know you're not, then you need to figure out what you can do to further the team environment and make that a, a play for your team as best you can. I think people get really caught up in solo key mentalities of I have to be the one to do this. I have to be the one to you know, carry the game and drop the, you know, 20 bomb or whatever. It, none of that matters, dude. Like at the end of the day, like if you're playing competitive, if you're taking this much time out of your day to sit down and, and play organized league of legends, like play to win, don't play for yourself. Yeah. I think that's great. Great message. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite you later. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll see. That's, that's just what I do. Uh, nobody stopped me so far this year. I haven't lost yet. So <laughs> true true uh winning with xg fairies looking to run it back here all right so i've gotten a lot of information i i, I think it's been great you've been awesome but i do want to give you the opportunity to just say whatever you want so this this is your time to give shout outs to anyone you want maybe you want to send a message to the league, put people on notice, whatever you want to do, this is your time. Anything that I missed, you can also say that here. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think question wise, you didn't miss anything. You were absolutely wonderful. This is a super sick interview. Uh, and in terms of my freelance message, uh, all I'll <laughs> say is I'll, I'll quote my boy Thanos. It doesn't matter <laughs> what you guys think's about to happen. It doesn't matter how good you think your team is or what you're going to do. Just remember I am inevitable. <laughs> all right i love that great quote great quote uh thanks for coming on you've been great and i hope that you have a great time in this split because man there's going to be a lot of great games a lot of great games yeah, all right man. thank you very much this is a great opportunity and, and this is a wonderful interview yeah no problem at all happy to help and good luck on wednesday thank you all right to everyone else Thanks for watching. Good luck as well, because sounds like uh, Bing Chiller's roster, which, which one is this one? Civil Standards is inevitable. Let's see if they're right. All right, good night.